Yes, yes, ring to be da. Hey, Roses, back to do another manga review. I actually have it down here. This is a series review. And if you have follow me on Instagram, then you see the post of when I actually got this series. And it is Kamichama Karen 1 through 7. And here's the cover of volume 1. So I'm just going to give like a brief synopsis on this. I'm not going to like go super in depth because one, spoilers abound, and two, I want you guys to be able to either read it on Kindle or iPad, something, because I don't know if you can actually find the physical release because I found those at a used bookstore. Um. But basically, it follows Karen, who has had a lot of rough things happen in her life. Um, her parents passed away. She lives with her aunt, who doesn't really like her. And her only friend is her cat, Shijan. And one day, she's visiting um, Shijan's grave after the cat passes away. And this is very early on in the book, so this is not a spoiler. Um, she runs into a boy named Kazune, or Kazune, I'm not, how you, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Anyway, he basically just starts making fun of her being, basically being a pig, if I'm quite frank. He's basically being a pig, like a chauvinist pig. But, um... She also runs into a girl named uh, Himeka. I think that's how you say it. Himeka. But then... When she runs into the two of them, because she actually runs into Himeka first. No. K Kazune first, then Himeka. Um, Kazune basically notices a ring on her finger and says where did you get that ring and she said well my it was my dead mother's ring so he goes to touch it and when he does all of a sudden this bright light flashes and they're all confused because they're like okay why did the ring do that that just seems bizarre but you learn later Surprise, surprise, the ring can turn her into a goddess I a magical girl transformation. So, it's basically about her trying to learn how to fight with those powers and things like that. But then she also runs into um, twins, like a boy and girl twin. Well, technically boy, boy, twin, but if you read the series, you'll know what I mean. Um, they're the Karasuma, and they are trying to basic. they're like the enemy of the story because they find out some things later down the line, how they have their own version of Himeka. There's two different versions. There's the ones that Kazune and Karen has, and then there's the ones that the Karasuma have. But you don't really know why until later. And again, I'm not saying why due to spoilers abound, but it's definitely an interesting plot element that they throw in there for sure. I was kind of taken aback by it when I when I was reading it. I was just like, wait a minute, this seems strange. So if you like Magical Girl, but also you like like the ancient Greeks gods and goddesses, because apparently Karen has the Ring of Athena. Don't know what that's about, but if you like 
Greek gods and goddesses, but also like the typical magical girl trope, then I would recommend this series for sure. Overall, I'd probably give the series like a 3.5 out of 5. For me personally, I did like the series and I probably would reread it, but it's not one that I'm going to pick over some others. Let's phrase it that way. But if you do like those two elements, and also kind of an enemies to lovers type of trope between Karen and Kazune, then I would recommend that as well, just because their dynamic is freaking hilarious. But that is all I can really say without giving away too many spoilers, because I do not want to do that. I went into the series totally blind because I had never heard of it before, and I want to give you as little information as possible so that you guys can enjoy it as well. But with all that being said, I will talk to you guys soon in another video at another time. Bye, Roses. Annyeong.